My favorite part of the course to teach is by far day four, which focuses on self-defending malware. Uh, on this day, we dive deep into obfuscated or packed malicious code, and it's really here that we come face to face with the malware developer's attempts to defeat our analysis process. So we go through some pretty tricky examples and students gain a real appreciation for the challenges associated with reverse engineering, but at the same time, they come away with some concrete techniques they can use to overcome those challenges. While coding experience is certainly helpful for this course, it is absolutely not required. We do recommend, however, that students have a high-level understanding of programming concepts and that they be comfortable navigating both the Windows and Linux environments because those are the platforms that we use for malware analysis in this course. I believe that incident response and forensic professionals will benefit most from our coverage of behavioral analysis, where we discuss how to determine the impact of running code on a system, how to assess its network activity, and how to actually interact with that sample to foster and encourage additional behavior. Analysts can then use that process to rapidly extract indicators of compromise that they can use to both contain and scope a potential intrusion. The Capture the Flag tournament on day six is a fantastic opportunity for students to flex all the knowledge they've gained during the past five days of this course. On this day, students will have to navigate through a series of challenge questions that are very similar to those that they'll encounter while performing this work in a professional capacity. Now, not surprisingly, performing malware analysis and being good at doing so requires building experience actually analyzing files. So not only does this final day reinforce all the key concepts that we've covered in the course, but it also encourages and prepares students to go out on their own and perform analysis on files they find in the wild. 